This meeting is being recorded. But tell her where you live. Oh, I live wait. In Syracuse. In Syracuse. New York. New York. Wait, wait. Oh, New York. Okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, Mama, is she new to Krishna consciousness? No, I don't think so. She's new. She already knew about Krishna. <laughs> Very nice to have you. So inspiring to all other kids who are from India. Thank you. We're going to learn from you so much. The dedication, the love that you have for Krishna, we're going to learn from you. Okay. Okay, let's start the class. Before that, I just want to send in the message in the group so that our friends will join. So we are making today Varani drink, which is favorite drink of Lord Balram, because Balram Punima is coming, right? On Thursday, it's Balram Punima. It depends upon which place you are in. Some places it is on Friday, some it is on Thursday. So we are going to make a drink today for Lord Balram. Oh, Risha. Okay, Risha, Risha came in. Very nice, nice to have all the children on the call today. Hare Krishna Sudevi, welcome, welcome to Govinda. Kabir. Okay. So what we are doing now? We are learning with what? What book are we learning? Can anybody help me? What book are we learning? Sudevi, what are we learning in Govinda? Srimad Bhagavatam, yes. On which canto are we on? Are we in? Canto 3, chapter 9. Yeah, canto 3, chapter 9. Here in this chapter, what's the chapter name? Um, today we can, uh, no, not Sudevi. Sudevi got the chance. Kabir can tell, can you tell me the chapter name? It's there on the screen. Brahma's prayers. Uh, for creative energy. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. So we are seeing this chapter yesterday, Sita Priti Mataji. Yesterday, Sita Priti Mataji has taught us a little bit of this chapter. And we'll go into deep of that chapter more. We'll learn more verses. There are so many verses in this. So we'll I'll cover a couple of verses here today. Before that, we start with the prayers, right? We ask the blessings of Srila Prabhupada. And all the Guru Varga. How many of you know prayers this, I think? Everybody know in the class? Do anybody don't know? How to recite these prayers? Bia, you know this prayer? You don't know this prayer? Okay. Let's do it slowly. Om Agnana. Can you all unmute? Om Agnana. Primirandasya, Primandasya, Jana Jana, Jana Jana, Shala Kaya, Shakshuran, Shakshuru, Amlitanyena, Amlitanyena, Tasmai Shri, Tasmai Shri, Gurave Namaha. Okay, Bia, can you read the meaning for me? Here is the meaning, and it's in English. Can you read that for me? It's I was born in the darkness, darkest ignorance, and my spiritual master opened my eyes, and with the torch of knowledge, I offer my respectful um. Oh, Vedanta. To, unto him. Very nice. So what is this meaning? You know, the prayer which is there in Sanskrit. It is saying that that we are born in ignorance. We are we don't know anything. Who who helps us to know everything? That is our spiritual master. That is Shila Prabhupada and all other Guru Vargas, right? They help us to see what the correct things. Otherwise, we don't know anything. So we are praying to them, please help us. And we are offering our obeisances. Obeisances means take your hands together like this and 
just two like this. This is called obeisance. Okay, let's go further. Okay. Nama Om. Nama Om. Vishnu Padaya. Krishna Vishnu Padaya. Vishnu Prasthaya. Vishnu Prasthaya. Bhutale. Bhutale. Srimate. Srimate. Bhakti Vedanta. Bhakti Vedanta. Vamin Diti Namine. Vamin Diti Namine. Namaste. Namaste. Saraswati Devi. Saraswati Devi. Gauravani. Gauravani. Pracharine. Chaine. Nirvishesha. Nirvishesha. Shunyavadi. Shunyavadi. Paschata Deshatarine. Chaine. Um, what's your name? The other other girl who joined you. I forgot your name. A for. A for, right? Is it correct? Did I pronounce it correctly? Okay. Can you read the meaning for me? Me? Yes. Yes. This one. I offer. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the. Bend like this. This is called obeisances. Like this. Unto, unto his divine grace, A C. Bhakti Vedanta. Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta. Swami. Prabhupada. Prabhupada, who is very dear to Lord Krishna, have. Having taken shelter at his lotus feet, our respectful obeisances, oh, opa senses, are unto you, O spiritual master, servant of Zar Zar Zarvati goes Gosvan. You are kindly preaching the message of Lord. Um, and delivering the Western countries, which are filled with impressionism and voteism. Saying we are um, offering our obeisances, we are saying that. Like, how you say respected, sir, ma'am, like you give uh, your respects to your teachers, right? In the same way, we are giving our respects to Srila Prabhupada because he's the one who came to this Western world and making all the Western people and all the Indians or wherever, whoever in, in this Western world, he gave love of Krishna, he gave love of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is why we are offering our respectful obeisances. We are um, like how you say hello, sir, good morning, or like that. Like that, here we are uh, giving our respect to uh, a spiritual master. So, um, Jai Sri Krishna. Jai Sri Krishna. Chaitanya. Chaitanya. Prabhu Nityananda. Prabhu Nityananda. Sri Advaita. Sri Advaita. Gadadar, Gadadar, Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda. Let's chant Hare Krishna, everyone together. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Hare. One more time, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Louder, louder. I only hear Sudevi's voice. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. 
about our classes by that group okay meanwhile okay what all we've seen yesterday so devi can you give me recap whoever is there in the class can you give me the recap what all yeah. you saw yesterday what did mata ji taught you yesterday like um, brahma he came from the lotus flower and uh, he didn't know what to do oh, so he went so he went uh, below the stem below the lotus flower and he went down the stem did he went he tried to go but then he couldn't go there right did he went below yes mata ji i think so okay Okay, let yes, me. Come. He went below, but then no, he he we couldn't go all, all the way to the bottom because like ah, it was like okay. ever ending space and there wasn't like a bottom. Yeah, he couldn't go. That's what I know. I will I will confirm it. And then he heard the sound. Hmm. He couldn't go. Then that's why he sat there only and he just tap up, right? Yes, Mataji. He tried to go, but he didn't find anything there. Ah, just yeah, he couldn't go there. He couldn't go. He will not. He went go. back up. And then he sat, and when he sat there, he heard some light sounds, tapa, 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 and then he uh, did tapasya, and then Krishna imparted the knowledge to Brahma. Brahma, yes. So here we uh, saw like how Krishna is the only source of everything, and Krishna is the root of everything. All the incarnation has came from Krishna, and we as a G, like human beings, we have transferred from many, many. Uh, uh, lives like we were animals sometime we were something sometime and then today we got this opportunity as human being so what do we do we use this human body to practice krishna consciousness to practice god consciousness to always uh, take the names of lord and then we can go back to godhead and also it is said that uh, always krishna is reciting in the devotee's heart and uh, whoever non devotees like who don't know about god they are very ignorant because they don't know what is the real purpose of life they are just living like the animals in the outside world like what what is the difference between us and animals animals are also eating uh, we are also eating animals are also living in their caves or something we are also living in our houses maybe we are living in the ac house and everything but then animals um, don't have that but then they are also living and we are also living they are eating we are eating they are also having children we are also having children So what's the difference? So that difference, if you don't know, then it is said that we are also like animals. If we don't know what's the difference, we have some intelligence to think what is the good to good to me. Why did I came here? What is my purpose? So if I am not understanding this with my intelligence, then my life is waste. So what happens if I think that I am this body? Oh, I am I am Vinita Gandharvika. I am this body. Okay, let me enjoy. let me do more enjoyment let me go uh, and watch a movie or let me do this let me go for a party so this is all yes we can enjoy but then we keep krishna in the center so if we if we don't know that krishna is the center and we we give our love to krishna then our life becomes misery we think that oh i should acquire more i want more money i want more happiness then what happens we suddenly becomes sad the life of a person who wants more 
everything in the material world they will be certainly unhappy so that is what here it is said and people who are not getting an opportunity to listen about krishna they are very unfortunate because they are going to suffer again and again in this material world right today whoever this 12 kids sitting on the class and listening about krishna they are very fortunate so a big hari bol to them can we raise our hand and say hari bol to all the children hari bol hari bol you are all very lucky you are god if you are doing how do we uh, serve god and how can we go back to god so that is our real purpose to be as a human right very good children we are going to go to the next slide so in the verse number 13 it is said that i will give the opportunity to read the translations you all can raise your hands for reading it um yeah, Okay, first Vrinda. Vrinda, Vrinda, can you go here? Okay. Oh my Lord, your devotees can see you. Louder. Yeah. Oh my Lord, your devotees can see you through the ear. By process of both find hearing, and thus their heart becomes quenched. And you take your seat there. You are so 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 merciful to your devotees that you manifest yourself in particularly internal form of transcendence in which they always think of you. Very nice. So here, what is said in the translation? It is said that Krishna will appear. God will appear in our heart when we hear about Him. when we open our ears and hear about lord god can appear in our heart and he can change a person's heart even though that person is hearing like a person is very new and he is very very good in his art and he is listening about krishna and then what happens it attracts him towards krishna consciousness and he can see lord in his heart the famous story of pralad maharaj who wants to say pralad maharaj story how did he get to know about krishna can i okay each person get what one did you can i who is that who is not you what did you this is suraj uh, yeah suraj little bit of the story and then other kid get another part of the story okay so once there was this uh, rakshasa who is really evil Okay, he 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 wanted to take over uh, uh, the the um, he got positions and everything. So uh, he he did the pasya for uh, some time, and then and then a uh, Brahma appeared, and then no uh, he and then he asked Brahma, "Can I be immortal?" But Brahma. Uh, Um, said I can't uh, m- give myself the ability of being immortal. So how can uh, you know, I give you the ability? Yeah, very nice. So what happened in meanwhile? In meanwhile, what happened when now uh, this thing is happening? When he went for the pasya, what happened in between? Um. So what happened in between? So this is a trick that Brahma is doing now. So Brahma. Was gonna now this now this um not Brahma when the what happened to Kaidu in the meal while Kaidu ah Pralad Mara story we are doing here right oh yeah yeah um so um so Kaidu um was all the demigods captured all the demigods captured her ah then what happened who came to rescue her um Pralad Mara no no. What happened to you, Narada Muni? Right? Yeah, Narada Muni came to rescue her, and then he he took um he took um um uh, 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 Kadayu in the ashram, and was telling uh, and was uh, um, Kadayu was pregnant. So Pralan Maharaj was visiting the um the devotional service that Narada Muni was glorifying nicely, and um. Tell, telling Pralan Maharaj he's in there, and then he was slowly speaking. You know, you don't never do that, right? Um, you know when when um when you and in your mother's tummy, and your mother is saying that you never speak, right? Pralan was speaking. Hmm, Pralan was speaking. Who wants to add more? Is there anybody who wants to add yeah, more to yeah, this yeah, story? Yeah, yeah. Isha, come on. Yeah. 
So um, when Prelude was actually a devotee because the queen, Nayai, told everything, but the mother wasn't listening. So Prelude listened, and then he'd become the pure devotee of Vishnu. Yeah, very nice. So here, the main point I was asked, I was trying to say this story to understand this point by hearing how can one become a devotee. Prahalad was in the womb of Kayadu. A baby in the womb also can hear what mother is saying. That is why it is said that when, when, when someone is carrying a baby, they hear about Krishna. So then what happens? They read about Krishna. Baby hears everything. Just by hearing whatever Narada Muni, the spiritual teacher is teaching, and then Prahlad hear everything and he become a great devotee. So then what happened to him? He, with him, always there was Krishna, right? Hiranyakashipu was troubling him so much. He was troubling him, put him in under the elephants, snakes, fire, thrown him from the big hill. What happened? Not, nothing happened to him, right? Because he was carrying Krishna in his heart. Right? It is said that one who is always hearing Krishna about Krishna through his ears, what happens? His heart becomes um, the place where Krishna is reciting. Yes, yes, in everybody's heart, Krishna is there. But then there in devotee's heart, Krishna is always there. And he, he is giving lots and lots of love to them. And that is very important. Hearing is very, very important. Through hearing, we can feel Krishna. Yes, uh, uh, Sudevi, can you tell me what you, what you are trying to say? You are trying to say something? You are raising hand? No? Okay. So by hearing, we can feel Krishna and also we can smell the lotus feet of Krishna. It doesn't mean literally you are smelling like this. No, it is not like that. But then, you know, you will feel that in your heart. When you go to the temple and stay, stay for 15, 20 minutes over there, how your heart is so happy, right? You literally feel that you are seeing Krishna in front of you, right? Even though Krishna is in the deity form, then you feel Krishna is there. So that is what, when you really love for Krishna, have a love for Krishna and praying for Krishna, then you will be able to see Krishna through hearing the Vedas. That is why it is say, Nityam Bhagavata say, every day you have to hear about Krishna. How you eat every day? Like that we hear about Krishna every day. So then what happened again in here? It is said that, if a person is a non-devotee, just by getting contact with a devotee, what happens? He will become a devotee, right? Um, now I wanted to know how um, how did, uh, what is your name? I again forgot. Eva? No. Yeah. No, the other girls. Um, um, Eva. Eva, how did you become Krishna consciousness? How did you came to know about Krishna? Can you tell me, please? Um, mommy brought you to Kirtan. Yeah, I know, but when? Oh, she said how though. How, how, um, did, how did you came to know? If it's not when, how did you came to know? Um, well. Um, okay, that's fine. Mataji, I think her mom said Kirtan uh, uh, some time back. Yeah, maybe, maybe some program outside program you have heard about Krishna. So like this, what happened is she don't know anything about Krishna, but somehow she came to know about Krishna consciousness. Today, she is also one of the devotees and she is able to uh, give Krishna to others. So that is the greatness of Krishna consciousness. Even though you don't know anything, but then you come in a contact of a devotee, you get love of Krishna. And that way you become a pure devotee of the Lord. So that is the another thing, how it is very important to be associated with a devotee. But by then you also get love of Krishna. And then there is other thing also in this verse, it is said that, e tamam prapatyante tam Oh 
Here it is said that whatever may you desire, Krishna is uh, going to come in that way. Like we know the famous story of this Brahmana, right? Who does not have any money to offer food to Krishna. And he wanted to offer his sweet rice to Lord. And then he's in meditating in the mind only. He was like oh, putting all the ingredients together for the sweet rice. Okay, rice, milk, sugar, everything is keeping ready. And then what happened? He wanted to check whether it is um, uh, cooked or not. He puts his finger into the rice and then his heart really burns. After that, when he opens his eyes from the meditation, he checks really the hand, his finger is burnt. So that is how when you have the love for Krishna, whatever you are offering through in the meditation or directly, Krishna will accept it. So whatever we desire, Krishna accepts like that. So we will move to the next. So then again it is said that Lord is not visible for a, for a non-devotee. And also for a, for a people who are worshipping demigods for the material benefits. For them, Lord is not visible for them. Lord is not going to show anything mercy to them. But then if somebody is very, 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 very uh, sincerely worshipping demigod and they are very pure in the heart. For them, Lord shows a mercy. Everybody knows this sto story, right? That stone story. Who all knows this story? Yes. Sudevi knows. Who else Balavinda, knows Balavinda, this story? Balavinda. Okay, Sudevi, you can quickly narrate this story for me. Yes, Mataji. Like one man was there and uh, his wife, he used to do a lot of Shiva Puja, Ram Puja, something like that. And then... Uh, Lord, Shiva, Lord Shiva. He was very, very good devotee of Lord Shiva. Yeah. And um, his wife used to uh, tell him always, uh, go get some money. What are you doing here? Simply sitting and worshipping the um, shivaling. So then um, after some time, he thought she'll go. And... Uh, he went to Sanatan Goswami, I think, and uh, uh, I think he heard from Shiva or something like that, that uh, you, yeah, Sanatan Goswami is there, so he'll go to Sanatan Goswami, and then Sanatan Goswami will say, go behind the hut, there there's a tree, and uh, in that uh, there's something. So he'll go uh, behind the house, and you'll see in the tra trash bin, there is this uh, touchstone. And you'll see that and you'll think, well, why did he put it in the touchstone? So he'll take it and he'll uh, go home. And then uh, he'll, after some time, he'll think, why has this, uh, why has Samasam Goswami put the touchstone in the re uh, recycle? That means there'll be something more, um, more greater. So then he went to Sanatan Goswami, asked, and asked, do we have something greater? So Sanatan Goswami said, yes. But first, you have to give up that touchstone. <laughs> so then uh, he'll uh, go home, give up that touchstone, put it back in his trash bin. And he'll go to Sanatan Goswami. And Sanatan Goswami will give him the Hare Krishna Maya Mantra. Yeah, so that is what it is said. See, because he was very much the, um, nicely worshipping Lord Shiva, that's why Krishna gave him a path to go to the right path. And he finally got Hare Krishna Maya Mantra. So one who is worshipping, like you might worship Jesus or someone. But then what happens if you're really worshipping from your heart very nicely to Lord, then Lord will show you the highest destination, which is the highest. Shiva knows that who is the highest, right? Krishna is the highest. So that's how he got diverted. But then for a devotee, for a demigod worshippers who were not bothered about uh, pure love of God, but then they wanted only, oh, uh, Shiva, give me this, or um, Ganesha, give me this, Durga Mata, give me this. Then Krishna does not interfere. Okay, okay. You do enjoy. You enjoy yourself. I'm not going to interfere. But then if somebody is really pure, 
Krishna interferes and makes him to go to the right destination like that. So moving on to this uh, next sloka. In the next sloka, what he is saying is, so demigods who are very great, they are also worshippers of the Lord. But then they are they are uh, they are always um, not just pleased by serving Krishna. They wanted material things. That is that is why they are less than the uh, devotees. Master Ji, uh, can I tell a story related to this? Yeah, yeah. After the one, just finish. Let me finish this, and then I will I will ask you to tell Suraj. Good boy. Thank you. So here it is said that. Devotees of the Lord are more, more uh, greater than the demigods because devotees of the Lord does not ask anything. They just ask for Krishna. Like how in the previous story we saw Sanatan Goswami, right? He had a precious jewel which can make everything, a precious stone which can make anything gold. But then what did he do? He threw that in the trash, right? He don't want anything. He just want Krishna. So that is why devotee is greater than the demigods. Even though demigods are worshipping the Lord, but then they want material things. So there is a different gradations of devotees. Some devotees are very good. They just wanted completely love of Krishna. Some they are still Krishna consciousness, but then still they're struggling. Oh, Krishna, give me this, give me that. That's okay. We will finally become a great devotee, but then there is a stages of a devotee. And for non-devotees who don't know about Krishna, Krishna is also not available for them. Uh, so, Suraj, what story you wanted to say here? Mataji, uh, there's this story of Lord Jagannath. Okay, so uh, once there was this uh, guy called Ganapati Bhatta, and he yeah, he was, was very interested in the uh, impersonal Brahman. So one time, um, uh, Jagannath went in his dream and said that... Um, uh, um, please uh, come to uh, Puri. Yeah, here the deity. Yeah, uh, here is is uh, is uh, is even more than Brahman. And I went, okay, because he he you know, liked Brahman. He wanted Brahman. Then he went there. Okay, in his mind, he thought Brahman now has a face of a uh, elephant because he originally he yeah, was Ganapati uh, worshipper. So he went there. He didn't see the elephant face on Jagannath. Okay, and he felt sad and he went home. On the way uh, going home, Jagannath came in his dream uh, and said that. Now uh, come back. I will show you uh, the uh, elephant face form after the uh, Snanayatra, which is now, which is why uh, yeah, the uh, after that, like Ganapati Bhatta went there, okay, and then saw uh, Yaganath in Hathi Vesha. So now after Snanayatra, there is Hathi Vesha the next day. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. See, the previous verse I was talking, right? How love with the Lord, devotees desire, Lord shows that form. That's the story. Thank you, Suraj, for telling that story. That story is very apt for the previous verse. Whatever you desire, the Lord is coming in that way. It doesn't mean that, oh, you can order the Lord, oh, show me like this. No, no, it's not like that. But the out of love, Lord is going to show us that form. Thank you, Suraj, for sharing that beautiful story. We'll move on to the next slide. So now it is said that if the if the Krishna is not available to non devotees, that means uh, uh, it is is it wrong that Krishna is available in everybody's heart? Then why not Krishna is not responding to the non devotees? So I have an example here. So everybody has a phone, right? Everybody has a phone, YouTube, like laptop, whatever iPad. Everybody has it, and everybody has a Wi-Fi around in the house. But then if I off my Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi is available. If I'm off my Wi-Fi, do I still get a connection? No, I don't get any connection. But I cannot say that there is no Wi-Fi. There is Wi-Fi. But then I opt it. That's why in my device, there is no uh, internet connection. So in the same way, Krishna is available everywhere. If I am closing my heart and I'm not turning towards Krishna, then Krishna is not there for me. If I am opening my eyes and seeing for Krishna, then Krishna is seeing me, right? 
it doesn't mean that krishna is not there in my heart as i am a non devotee doesn't mean that krishna is not there in my heart krishna is there in every heart in in dogs in dog in any animal anyone krishna is present as a super soul so but then you should you should have the intelligence to see towards him then he will react to you back right in the same way like how the wifi signal wifi is available everywhere if i don't on my uh, internet wifi then my phone does not have any internet i can't receive any message from anyone so devi gives me a message mata ji is there is a class today but then i don't receive any message because i am not on the internet but it doesn't mean that i am not having internet in my phone or around me there is internet run i am not connected to it so in the same way if you are not connected to like you, if you are not able to see the lord lord is also not going to bother you okay enjoy your life i am not going to bother so that is the lord going to tell in um, shila prabhupada is explaining in this purport uh yeah that, that is what the independence is given by lord lord has brought us here and he gave that independent independence where we can uh, do whatever we want and he, if he brought us here and he says oh you have to only do this you can't do this then what is what is why 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 did we came here he brought us here so that we can enjoy and if you are intelligent you can know that this enjoyment is not the permanent but the permanent enjoyment is serving the lord so that we should have intelligence when we get that intelligence that time krishna will say okay vinita gandharvika you are doing this you are doing everything nice but better you do this nice this way then you will become more nice he will guide me that time because i am trying to serve him so then he will help me okay go this way don't go this way this is not good way to you some devotee will come and tell me oh vinita gandharvika you are doing this mistake why don't you correct yourself so that is krishna guiding me that i did a mistake i know i should not tell i should not do this like this i have to do like this so krishna will interfere that time because i am showing love for krishna then krishna will come and help me okay do this that way you'll be happy so moving on to the next verse here in the next verse it is said can anybody read me this translation who raised hand i will see if somebody who did not get a chance wanted to speak kabir do you want to read okay rishi yes. all okay rishi rishi you can read this one activities like vedic no this one but the pious activities but the pious activities of the people such as performance of vedic uh, vedic rituals rituals charity austerity finances finances and transcendental service performed with a view to worship you and satisfy you by offering the uh, fruitful results fruitful results are also beneficial such as acts of religion never go in way yes thank you sir it is said that if i cannot do complete devotional service at least whatever activities i am doing if i can give the credit to krishna then that is the success of my life right if i am doing something if i am trying to do a, i am i am doing a job and i am getting a salary and if i can say krishna because of you i have earned this please accept this then that is a great service that service will never go wasted but the other services that we are doing in day to day life is wasted it will not help us in in our next life but whatever you are doing it for krishna will be helpful to you like we have this famous example right now sudevi is in the 6 uh, 6 year old what how which grade are you in sudevi second math ji second grade yes but then uh, sudevi will finish her uh, all the classes and she will leave 100 years and she will finish everything and then what happened she will come back again to help uh, shila prabhupad then what happened then shila uh, sudevi say that oh i have finished uh, already my phd and i finished everything why do i read again is it possible no right but then if you see what happened all your small kids who are practicing krishna consciousness you have already practiced your krishna consciousness 
um, like more than in uh, like lot of it. That's why you are getting Krishna practicing Krishna consciously. Like Kabir, Suraj, Isha, Rishi. I don't know what shloka, but it, he says the he carries what he lacks and he does something that you don't ah, have. Well, I don't know what shloka. Uh, is there anybody remember of that shloka? Uh, yes. From other shloka? He car Krishna carries what you lack and uh, uh, no, what you, you did and he gives what you lack. Oh, I know that uh, shloka. shloka. Sorry? Okay, anybody can uh, do it the no, search no, 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 by then. Uh, yes, Mama, I know which shloka is. So, okay. wait, wait. So then, that is what? Whatever service we are doing now, it's going to help us. Uh, maybe if you did not able to finish the Krishna consciousness in this life, but then next life I will be when I'm in the uh, so, uh, three year old itself. I started saying the slokas and I'll be like super fast in Krishna consciousness. And there is a lot of progress in my Krishna consciousness because I've already finished little bit in previous life. So whatever we do, that is not going to waste in Krishna consciousness. But in the material life. It's temporary. It's just temporary. Then after a few years, it's gone. That's it. After a few days, sometimes it's gone. It's not going to be helping us. Like how in Damodar month, everybody offers the lamp for Damodar. Right? And then what they get? They get love of Krishna. There is a famous story of this rat who offers, um, who falls in the lamp, uh, fall in the lamp, Damodar lamp, and it burns his body. And because of that, it will get the next life, the human life. It will go, actually it goes back to Krishna, I think. So that is what, you know, whatever the small thing you do for Krishna, Krishna is accepting, Krishna is giving the credit to us and it is it is going to be with us forever. It's not going to go after this body is gone. It's going to come with us to the spiritual world. And Krishna is so happy to receive us over there. So then uh, we will uh, see. But so Mataji, if we're a human in this life and we go to the spiritual world, we'll be a human. And if we're a cockroach in the previous, uh, uh, um, in, in uh, the life, uh, and though uh, we go back, uh, then we'll be a cockroach in the spiritual world. No, in the spiritual world, everybody is everybody is having a different body. Like as because Mataji, I thought you're whatever your initiated name is in the spiritual world. No, spiritual world is completely different than the material world. Whatever body you might have here, it doesn't matter. When you go to the spiritual world, uh, it's about which planet you're going. Some planets you get as it is same body like Krishna. Some planets you have a separate body. And then Krishna will give you according to our mood, what form you you like Krishna to serve like that. Somebody wanted to serve like a cow. Maybe Krishna, they will get a body of a cow like that. It depends upon uh, how do you want to serve Krishna. So whatever here in this verse, Srila Krishna Prabhupada is saying that uh, whatever you are doing, you have to offer it for Krishna. Can anybody recite this sloka for me? Rosi, yes. Yad karozi yad Yad karozi yad ashnazi yad jiyozi yad aji yad yad tabas digandeya yad kurush mamadar banam Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you uh, you offer or give given give away and whatever austerity you perform, do that, O oh, son of Kunti, as an offering to me. So everything that we do, if we keep Krishna in the center, our life is happy, successful. And next one. Uh, who did not get a chance now? Who did not get the chance to read? Kabir, you did not get. Can you read for me this one? Okay. The distinction between the Lord and the living entity is definitely exper experience. When there is sufficient intelligence to understand his internal potency as dis distinct distinguished from the external potency by which he makes impossible the material manifestation. Yeah. Ah, so here it is said that 
there is a difference between us and krishna if somebody thinks that krishna and me is no difference then they are fool we should have that intelligence some people will say oh krishna dance with lot of women i also want to dance but then you have intelligence look at this picture krishna has expanded himself into so many krishnas to dance with so many gopis so we should have that intelligence that krishna and me are not the same krishna is a supreme i am the servant of krishna so that intelligence one should have in their life so next one can anybody read this for me maji can advait read yes advait can you read this one one who chants okay. the whole page or only that paragraph this paragraph for me okay one who chants the holy names of the lord whose incarnations qualities and activities are mysterious even in, un in unconsciously at the time of death is freed of all sins and attains himself so what what did you understand here martin i understood that uh, when like example like in the photo uh, when you uh, uh, about to go to death and you um, uh, remember krishna you go back to him yes that is what even though we are chanting unknowingly but still it is accepted even here ajamila you see he was not calling the lord himself he was calling the sun narayana but then still he could go to krishna because he called narayana that is what it is said instead of um, you know vishnu dutas came to carry ajamila but then we um, sorry yamadutas came to carry ajamila but then vishnu dutas stopped them no 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 he chanted narayana's name so he needs to come with us not with you so that is the power of chanting the hari krishna maha mantra if you chant hari krishna maha mantra even one time that will help us to go closer to krishna and especially when you chant this mantra when you are leaving this body that is very auspicious how can we chant when we are living in this body uh, because when we chant the whole life of um, that when our brain is trained okay hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari i keep chanting every day my brain is fully trained that i i have to chant hari krishna that time when i have pain krishna if i say that that's it i can go back to krishna right so can we all chant one time hari krishna together raise your hands up and chant hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram hari ram hari 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 krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram hari hari krishna hari krishna hari 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 krishna wonderful wonderful so what is there in this paragraph okay so here it is said that how krishna is greater than uh, uh, than everyone uh, our krishna is supreme how can we understand krishna's supremacy we see that krishna lifted uh, the govardhana hill it doesn't mean krishna need, literally needs to lift with his finger but then he wanted to give pleasure to devotees that is why he lifted with his little finger little pinky if krishna wants what is there in his, in just in a lessons uh, blinking his eyes he can lift it up right he can create the whole universe and he can annihilate all universe why does krishna just can lift like that but he wants to give the yeah, he can destroy the whole universe by just inhaling yeah but why why do you think that krishna lifted go then with his uh, with his finger he does not need to use his finger but he wants to give pleasure to the devotees he wants to make a pastimes so that we can remember krishna that is why he came into this material world and he did all this past time so that we can we can remember krishna at the end of the, our life right that is what here in this uh, purport shila prabhupar is explaining us simply if we can remember krishna is the supreme and we can remember krishna at the end of the life we can make our life successful so this is very nice this talking about the cosmic tree uh, what is that can anybody read this for me quickly anybody can read this paragraph for me hari krishna today we you raised your hand you can read 
Isha also raised. Anybody can read this one. I cannot hear anyone. You're the prime root of the, the tree of the cosmic uh, manifestation, Bhuvana Adrumaya, which has three uh, trunks as me, Shiva and uh, you, uh, and expands with multiple branches. Yes, read this one. Your lordship is the prime uh, root of uh, the tree and the um, planetary systems. This tree uh, has uh, grown by first penetrating the material nature in the three trunks, as me, I, I, Shiva, and uh, you. The Almighty uh, for creation, maintenance, and dissolution. We have uh, grown as with many branches. Therefore, I offer my obeisances unto you, the tree of cosmic manifestation. So what do we understand here? There is three main deities, right? Brahma, Vishnu, and um, Shiva. But then Lord Krishna is the supreme. Lord Vishnu is the supreme. Brahma okay, so Mataji, here in this verse, it's, uh, it's Brahma talking to uh, Krishna? Yes, yes. That is why it is said me, right? In, in, this, in this, it is said me. Me means this is Brahma's prayers, right? Brahma is saying me, Shiva, and you. Brahma is saying to Lord Krishna that me means Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu are the supreme. But Mataji, at that time, uh, Shiva didn't exist. But it is, it is, it, it, it is um, I don't know how come Shiva's, because, um, you know, this is millennium after millennium. So, the, so I don't know the exactly why. Um, it, it is also said that he is offering his obeisances on behalf of Lord Shiva also. And these prayers are uh, done many times, not only when Lord appeared, Brahma appeared, but also prayers have done many times, right? Maybe in another situation, when uh, even after Lord Brahma has created Lord Shiva, after that, the, the prayers also have done, right? Maybe that time, that is why it is uh, given about Lord Shiva. I'll, I'll come back to you. I'll ask Priti Mataji about it and uh, answer your question, okay, Suraj? Is it okay, Suraj? I don't know, Suraj is not speaking. Okay. So here it is said that there are three deities, right? Brahma, Vishnu, and um, Lord Shiva. So who is the highest? Lord Krishna. Lord Vishnu is the highest. We did this activity also. On a, uh, how many of you remember this activity from the summer camp? I want everybody to speak. Why? I don't know. Everyone is silent. Me, Mataji. Wonderful, wonderful. So it is said that it is said that Krishna is the root of everything. Krishna is the main thing. And everyone is under Krishna. So Krishna is the supreme. We know this famous story, right? Brigamuni goes for uh, to know who is the supreme. And what finally he comes up with the um, answer. What is his final um, result of that uh, test? He goes to Lord, uh, Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and then he goes to Lord Vishnu. Finally, what he will know that who is supreme? Nobody knows this story? Vishnu. Mm, Vishnu, yeah. Lord Bra Brugumuni goes on test for Brahma. Brahma will get angry. Lord Shiva also will get angry with his behavior. And then, but only Vishnu, even after he kicks Lord Vishnu's chest, but then he does not get angry because he is the supreme. So supreme, uh, the root of everything is Lord Krishna. From him, everything comes. So here, that is why Lord Brahma is offering him obeisances. Uh, not only to, by, uh, only his obeisances, he's also offering obeisances of Lord Shiva also. So this, uh, this is the verse for today. We will uh, just quickly see this uh, one time sloka we also learned in uh, this um, Damodar class. But one time I will just say, and we will send the recording for this. Anybody know this sloka? Want to recite? That is also good for me. Anybody knows this sloka? I don't know. Nobody speaks. If nobody speaks, what can I know? Mataji, we don't know it. That's why we're not speaking. Okay, you don't know. Okay, let's do this. Namaste, Alagraha. 
Namaste. Namaste. Alagraha. Grama. Musala Yuda. Namaste. Musala Yuda. Yuda. Namaste. Revati Kanta. Namaste. Revati Kanta. Namaste. Bhakta Vatsala. Namaste. Bhakta Vatsala. Namaste. Darani Dara. Namaste. Darani Dara. Namaste. Balana Mashreshta. Namaste. Balana Kalambare namaste stu. Kalambare namaste stu. Ehi mam Krishna purvaja. Ehi mam Krishna purvaja. So this is the this is the pranam mantra of Lord Balram. So on uh, uh, Balram Purnima, you have to recite this. This is very nice verse. Uh, we have to recite. I will send this uh, recording in the group. So Balram Purnima is on the eleventh Thursday. So we are all making varuni drink. Can you all get the ingredients ready, please? How many of you are going to make me? Mama, we need rose water and cream toppings and honey and cream and yogurt yeah, and milk. Mama, mo, kung balaram ki, edo recipe kapchat na min inelpo na. Please, Mama, can I log out? Mataji, what is this topping cream? Oh. That's okay, Risha. If you don't have anything, you just watch it. You can you can make it later, okay? Okay. Wait, we're making it today? Yes. If you all have ingredients, we'll make it today. Can you all get them? First thing, take about pour one cup of milk in there. Get the, get the cup for me. There is a cup over there. You wash the cup and mix. We have milk, sir. Yeah, we don't have, oh. we don't have rose water and whatever else. That's okay if you don't have rose water. You can use uh, uh, this thing, vanilla essence also, no problem. Modified Varuni, that's fine. Quickly, whoever is making... If nobody is making also, that's fine. Look at the recipe. You can, oh, Sudevi is making. Very good. A half cup of milk. Less than half cup of yogurt in that. Brinda. Less than half cup of yogurt. Very good, Sudevi. Thank you so much for making it. And then add cream. One tablespoon of cream. Mataji, how much yogurt we have to put? Less than half cup. Half cup. Half cup of milk and less than half cup of cream. Sorry, yogurt. <laughs> Then honey, three tablespoon of honey. When next I got this, you can let me know. I will move to the next slide. This is a favorite drink of Yeah, he likes it a lot. Matuchi, can we go next slide? Nobody 
Nobody will put more than that. Can you go put this in the fridge? Oh, there's only a one here. That's okay. Can you put this in the freezer? Oh, oh, oh. Can you put this in the freezer and come go? Okay. If you are done this, moving on to the next. I did it. Yes. Then add the rose water. Half teaspoon. Okay. Again, on the top, pour into the serving cup. Once you mix everything, pour into the serving cup. And then on the top, Again, you are, you can top it with the cream to make more tasty. And then offer it to the Lord. Just put the tilsili. Go and put in front of the Lord and just chant three times Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Masaji, does it have to be... Does it have to be liquidy? Yeah, it, it will be liquidy only. Yeah, it's like a drink, right? It's drink. What is the time now? Okay, we crossed the time. We crossed the time. Okay, Kabir is making wonderful Kabir. Today we made it. Bala we also made it. Balavrinda made it. Okay. I'm done making. Wonderful, Kabi. Wonderful, you are. You're a good boy. I already offered mine. <laughs> okay, so we will close the call for today. If anybody knows the story of this Varuni thing, then we will narrate in two minutes. Can you do it in two minutes? The narration of the story. And Balram visited when Balram visited Vrindavan. That, that's when this Varuni drink story comes. Do you know this story? Uh, yes, Mataji, that uh, one time Krishna uh, Krishna will be in Dharka, so Balram will go to uh, uh, visit Vrindavan and then. Uh -huh. When uh, they'll have, they'll see the gopis and uh, they'll ask about Krishna to Balram. And uh, Balram has his, his own Ras Leela. And then, and then uh, he uh, was feeling thirsty. So, uh, Varuna's wife, I think, or daughter, I think she was Varuni, and uh, Varuni went in some tree and uh, Balram drank that one. Yes. She drinks this beverage, right? He uh, loves to dance with uh, gopis, all the set of Balram's gopis. And then he does the pastime of killing uh, this, what is that uh, demon? The monkey demon, what a gorilla demon, sorry. Um, Divida gorilla. Ah, Divida gorilla, yeah. Uh -huh. That's the story. Thank you, Sudevi, for telling us that story. And thank you, everyone, for joining today's class. We'll meet tomorrow with another wonderful verses and with other Mataji. And Mataji is going to make us nice craft tomorrow. I don't know what the, what craft is that. We'll ask Mataji to post the list of the things that we need for tomorrow's craft. And whoever made the Varuni drink, please post pictures in the group. And um, uh, did you did you got a chance to click on the group? And are you in the WhatsApp group? We are in a Bia and Efa, are you in the WhatsApp groups now? Did you got the link of WhatsApp group? Here is the WhatsApp group link. If you click on this link, you will be in the WhatsApp and you will get all the information about the class and the activities. Tomorrow we have a very nice activity. You will be able to do that. Okay, thank you everyone for joining. I would like to offer my obeisance to all of you.